I'm now at the uh, Lighthouse Point Field State Park in Santa Cruz. And um, I'm at the edge of the ocean. You'd like to think he has the uh, And there's a surfing contest today. But uh, anyway, the butterflies are in the uh, eucalyptus there out on the horizon, those tall eucalyptus trees. And um, over this way, in the middle of the picture, you can see the uh, Moran Lake eucalyptus grove that the monarchs use also in Santa Cruz. Up ahead is the Lighthouse Field State Park uh, Monarch Overwintering Grove. Um, but before I go over there, I'm going to check out the uh, milkweeds. The tropical, they have tro tropical milkweed planted through here. And I'm going to check it out for monarch caterpillars. Here's one of the uh, tropical milkweed plants, Asclepius. Bisocarpa, and I can see a, I do see a caterpillar here. And um, I'm seeing many, many more caterpillars now. The plants aren't stripped, their leaves aren't stripped, but uh, they do have caterpillars, for sure. It's about um, 56 degrees, so it's uh, they're not feeding right now. But when the sun hits them, they'll start feeding. Here's a look at a larger plant, the Asclepius physocarpa. There's a flower. And there are the seed pods. It, the, the plant is nowhere near stripped of, of uh, leaves because of an overabundance of caterpillars. Uh, this this caterpillar's in the sun and he's eating. And also is a is a chrysalis here. I was here about three weeks ago and this the caterpillar was in the J in shape. So the because of the cool conditions here along the coast, the cat the chrysalis has not hatched yet. There's a more distant view of the as you can see the milkweed there. And now I'm going to uh, walk across the street to the uh, Monarch Grove. Right off the bat I'm noticing the clusters are on that cypress tree in the middle of the grove. I also discovered there's some clusters on the out southern perimeter, perimeter, perimeter of the grove in that area. So I'm going to go up there and take zoom in on them. But the um, majority of the butterflies are in the interior of the grove, so I'm going in there next. I'm now in the interior of the grove looking at the uh, clusters 
on the cypress tree. That's the most concentrated cluster. On the northern side of the uh, cypress tree in the middle of the grove, there's a few more small clusters. But overall, the butterfly population appears here appears to be similar to natural bridges around 3,500 or 4,000, roughly. So during the uh, between now and um, Christmas, the butterfly population here will be growing, but at, Nat at Natural Bridges State Park, two or three miles to the west of here, it will be declining. So this is a, a true overwintering site, whereas Natural Bridges is a, mostly an, an autumnal cluster site. This is an interpretive sign they have here. <laughs> 